Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a story time of how my sugar baby experience went completely wrong. I dipped my feet in the waters a little bit and it was just not what I expected at all. So let's get straight into it. So just a quick disclaimer before I get into the video, I know a lot of people are going to be coming at me, are going to try to judge me, whatever. So let me defend myself a little bit here, okay? This story happened shortly after I got kicked out, so I was not in a good place, okay? I was broke, I was in a horrible mental space, I was naive and mm, desperate. I was literally the definition of girl with strict parents gone wild. This is not an experience that I'm proud of and the only reason why I'm sharing it online is because I've already talked about it on my TikTok before very briefly. So I'm not sharing anything new to the world. I also think this is just really important to talk about. I feel like this topic is not necessarily taboo, but there's a lot of misconception around sugar babies and sugar daddies. The media nowadays doesn't really tell you the full story about what it is. I think it's really important to talk about this and to warn girls from considering the path of a sugar baby. And I unfortunately had to learn my lesson the hard way, so let's get into it. When COVID happened, I obviously stopped working, but they slowly started opening things back up again. So I had four jobs and I ended up quitting two of them and I was working as a beer cart girl and I was working at a restaurant as a host. I was getting a lot of shifts working at this golf course. I would drive up to 50 and would serve beverages to these really rich, wealthy people. Okay, this was a private club. It's basically like old rich white men that are my customers for the most part. And it was kind of weird because usually you would drive around as a beer cart girl, but this place thought it was low class to drive around so i had to stay at the 50 the entire time these customers wouldn't really pay me much attention obviously you know i was just kind of nobody to them and there was this one customer in particular that was actually really nice to me was actually you know trying to get to know me was super friendly i really liked him like he was really nice and this girl that also worked with me at the restaurant that i worked at she was also a host with me she had worked at the golf club for a lot longer than I did. She told me how nice he was, how great of a guy he was, and she was also spilling the tea a little bit about him. She basically told me that his wife at that point in time was 25 years old, okay? He left his previous wife because he had like a kid and everything with that wife. He left her for this young 25 year old girl. And we're just like, come on now, like we know, we know what the deal is. She basically told me that they would both cheat on each other. They were just like known for cheating on each other. His what, now wife, 25 year old wife would leave the city for weeks at a time. He would leave for weeks at a time. They were hardly ever together. And honestly, I never really saw her and him together. She was telling me how it was clearly, you know, that type of relationship. Wait, I'm trying to think, how old was he? Cause he was like, I think in his fifties, his son was, 30 something years old, you know, like his son was old. That is very, very weird to me. One time when me and my friend were working, he, this guy walked in with this beautiful blonde girl, so pretty. I worked at a nice bougie restaurant, shows up with this random person who's supposedly his assistant. I turned to my friend, I'm like, could we say hi to him at the door and he's happy to see us? We're both just dying, like, this girl, I'm looking at my friend and my friend's like, yup, he just, he takes girls out just for dinners and stuff, buys them bags. He treats these girls really nicely. Like they literally just go out for dinner and stuff. And my dumb, ass, like, why did I listen to my friend? Okay, she was 17 years old. She was also young and naive and didn't really know about that stuff. I was still just like in awe, like, oh my God, that girl got the bag she don't gotta do nothing she gets these free meals like take it out princess treatment that must be the life as he's about to leave he hands us 200 dollars. my friend's like yeah he always like gives money for no reason and i'm like whatever so this is the first time that i've gotten money from him and then ever since that day every time he sees me at the golf club also i'm just going in with this say beauty why is there hair everywhere so ever since that day, every time he sees me, he like hands me $50, $100 as a tip. I'm just so gassed. I'm like, mm, this is my sugar baby era, look at me. 
ill. We get closer as the months go by and he kind of starts suggesting, hey, like we should hang out sometime, like, you know, as boys. I like joke around with him, but like, I'm not really serious about it. I don't really want to hang out with him. And he asked for my number and stuff like that. He's like, yeah, no, give me your number. Like we got to hang out sometime. Not in like a creepy way, okay guys? I can tell when someone's being like really creepy and trying to come on to me and you know, he was into blonde girls and I was the furthest thing from it and I just was like, oh, whatever. He keeps suggesting it and I'm just like, no. And I say, you know what, instead of my number, I'll give you my Facebook because I feel like that's less intense, right? I give him my Facebook. Guys, all the girls are obsessed with him for some reason. So I had a, a coworker who was a little bit older than me and I told her about this guy and how he wants to hang out and stuff and I don't know, like should I, whatever and she's like, no way oh my god, he is a dilf, he is so fine and I'm like, really? like, I, didn't, I did not think this guy was cute at all but apparently, you know, all the girls were just so into him I was also just kind of gassed, I'm like oh, all these girls are obsessed with him She, so my coworker was like, I would literally hook up with him for nothing like i would just do it because he's so fine and i'm like mm, he's not that cute and she says you know you're still young you're just not into older guys just yet for some reason i'm happy about this hearing from someone else that oh my god i wish i could hang out with him because it just makes me feel special for some reason i don't know why embarrassing just thought i was special i guess and again i was feeling very shitty at that point in my life i was making 15 dollars an hour and I was like, this is my door. This is my path to get out of this rut that I'm in. I was very open to that idea. I was like, this is it for me. I'm gonna get spoiled. Also the blush that I went in with was this Patrick Tra, she's that girl blush. I don't gotta pay for rent anymore, I'm set. After him asking me multiple times, I finally agree. I'm like, sure, you know, we can hang out. And I don't really wanna go for drinks because I was not a huge drinker and it was all very new to me, obviously. He was like, oh, let's let's smoke in session, have food. Let, that'll be super fun. And I thought that was a really good idea, even though I literally like never smoke, okay guys? I'm, I'm so lightweight with everything. I'm pretty sure weed makes you relaxed, which idiot, it does not. It makes you more anxious, but we'll be laughing the entire time, right? So he's like, I know a really good pizza place. I'm all for it, you know, I like pizza, so I'm at work, I finish work, I change, he picks me up from this golf club, which I swear there are cameras. If, By the way, guys, if these members were caught, you know, interacting with the workers outside of hours, this was like a big deal. I'm pretty sure they could get banned from the golf club and then I would get fired. He picks me up in his car and we're driving and... I'm super comfortable when he first picks me up, okay? And then all of a sudden he starts talking. Guys, the energy shift from how he talked to me normally when I was at the club versus when I was in his car, this was a whole different person and I thought I was gonna die. He starts talking about super intimate private things and I'm feeling i'm getting slowly sick to my stomach from some of the things that he's talking about he was just he was talking about how high of a sex drive he had and i was just shocked i didn't know why he was at all mentioning this to me like why is this relevant why are you randomly bringing this up and he had a kid super young i mentioned to him i'm like sorry if there's like stuff that's my powder oh you know, I struggle with this condition. So actually at the time, if you didn't know, for four years I struggled with vaginismus, which is basically a condition where you can't put, like you can't use tampons, you can't, like if you get a pap smear, it hurts really badly. And obviously if you get intimate, it's literally physically impossible. Like it just, it won't work. There's just too much pain. It's a, it's, a lot of it is a huge mental thing as well like if you grew up where sex was like a taboo thing a lot of girls will have it if they grew up in that type of culture uh, which i did so i had that condition i had to go to physiotherapy i took medicine 
got injections like, that was my whole thing so we're not going to talk about that but at that time i was struggling with that so i just told him like oh i'm actually not able to be intimate at all and i personally think i'm asexual i was really trying to suggest you know i don't do any of that stuff i'm not into that stuff um so stop talking about it i was literally terrified like ew why is this grown man talking to me about his private part it was it was gross um i honestly don't think he took that the way that i expected him to take it because he kind of saw it as a challenge and he thought it was interesting and it was like a good thing for him and i was just so scared oh guys he was literally talking about how he always pulled the sock out if you know what i mean i'm not gonna say it because it's absolutely gross we arrive at this pizza place and he's like oh you can stay in here i'm just gonna go grab it guys this wasn't a restaurant okay this was a takeout place and i don't want to seem like i'm scared or because i'm in this man's car i just i don't know my friends don't worry my friends had my location and everything i want to think the worst i was super naive um so it gets takeout i'm freaking out he's like oh we're gonna go to mine and I'm like, oh, where's your wife? And he says that she's in this, she's in another city for a few weeks. I'm like, of course. Oh, great. No one's going to be home. I'm so excited. So I want to emphasize again, I was not trying to ruin a marriage, okay? I was just trying to get the bag. I was trying to do whatever the wife was doing, you know? I never had any intention of doing anything with him. They were known for cheating on each other. That was the only reason why I even felt okay with hanging out with him. And I already got my karma because my ex cheated on me. So I the, the universe paid me back, okay? So we go to his house. Uh, we sesh for a little. I take one puff. I, again, I'm a lightweight. I can't really handle all that, you know? And I get very very anxious okay while i'm eating this pizza he continues to be creepy and talk about just gross things making comments about remember my 17 year old friend he was making comments about her chest and just i was super uncomfortable i was just i honestly why didn't i leave i didn't want him to think that i was scared of him okay so i i was like you know what i'm just gonna spend two hours here and then i'm just gonna say that i'm tired and i need to get going so that was my plan and I figured, you know, what's the worst that could happen? So we're eating this pizza. I'm eating so slowly, even though I'm feeling nauseous and anxious. He's just creepy. Talk about, you know, girls at the club and this and that. Time is going by so slowly. Also, by the way, this house is gorgeous. It is huge. I don't understand how two people were living here, okay? This house was massive, beautiful. The architecture, mm, stunning. I couldn't really appreciate it that much because I was terrified. Anyway, so... He says, let's go to the basement. I have a really cool stoner couch and we should go. And what does my dumbass say? I agree. I'm like, okay, sure. Let's go downstairs. We go downstairs. There is a huge sectional and this huge movie screen, like big flat screen TV. He sits on one end of the couch and I go to the complete opposite end. And then he moves right beside me guys i put on try not to laugh on the tv he's like what do you want to watch i'm like this is not about to be a you know we watch a movie and you know what happens you know this is not this is not going to be a netflix and chill sir so i put on try not to laugh and um we're laughing our asses off obviously because we're high this is like an hour long try not to laugh it was on for a very long time his hand slowly starts creeping up beside my thigh i feel like throwing up I'm super scared. I really want to message my friends. So I get up and I go to the washroom um, so I can text my friends. And I get to the washroom. I reach for my pocket. I left my phone on the couch. Idiot. I obviously, I didn't want to text right beside him because he could see it. So that's why I went to the washroom. Anyways, I come back from the washroom, sit back down and I'm like, let's go eat some more pizza i'm hungry again even though i literally devoured half of it already so we go upstairs we continue to eat more pizza he continues to be creepy and say creepy things and then i say it's getting late at this point i had already messaged my friend i say i need to go and he says if i'm tired i can stay the night nope nope i'm good i, I really need to get going oh, where'd my contract go my friend comes and he hugs me goodbye and it is literally the longest hug ever oh i just i really felt so nauseous he would not let go i swear to god i was hugging this man for a solid two minutes he lets go i run to my friend's car and i get in the car and i start bawling my eyes out okay i am crying i'm sobbing to my friend 
who by the way had warned me about it she was like you know she let me do it because i think it was something that i needed to learn for myself i guess but she was very paranoid about it too she warned me about it and said it wasn't a good idea and i was like no it's chill he's so chill he's not he's not creepy at all because he never spoke inappropriately inappropriately to me or said weird things to me i tell her that i wish i listened to her i also want to make it known that we did not do anything okay i know a lot of people when i talked about it on tiktok were like there's no way that you went to his house and didn't do anything guys i would not be publicly this story itself is very embarrassing regardless still important to share but why would i publicly talk about this story at all if i did something okay all I got from him was pizza and trauma, okay? Nothing happened. I have a little bit of shame. Like I know it's, I know I'm pretty shameful. A lot of people say I'm pretty shameful, but I have a little bit, okay? So no, we did not do anything. So after this, I avoid him at all costs. He still continues to message me on Facebook and not often, obviously. I will respond just because again, I. For some reason back then, I was really big on not making other people uncomfortable even though I was uncomfortable. Ladies, please never ever ever, if you are in an uncomfortable situation, do not stay in that situation if you because you feel bad for the other person. You don't want to offend the other person or you don't want them to feel uncomfortable. Fucking leave, okay? Don't be an idiot. And that was a huge thing that I used to do back then. I didn't want people to think badly about me. I didn't want people to be embarrassed about a situation or anything like that. So I did my best to make them feel like they didn't do anything wrong. My anxiety gets so bad at work. I eventually decide to quit. I just, I can't work there anymore. I'm just so anxious about seeing him. I'm like checking on the schedule to see if he's coming. He messages me and he's like, why'd you quit? Are they gonna hire someone as hot as you? And I'm like, ha ha ha, you're so funny. He's asking if we can hang out again and I'm, this time I'm actually honest with him. I tell him that, you know, he's always my boy, but I did feel a little uncomfortable hanging out with him so late at night and stuff. And, you know, I probably shouldn't be friends with a 50 year old. So guys, isn't my fit so cute right now? I'm wearing this top from Garage and these pants from Garage as well. I tell him that it's probably not a good idea and he's always my boy, but it was just, I felt uncomfortable. And I said, you know, maybe it was the weed, honestly. But yeah, I was super paranoid. Haha, <laughs> it was the weed. No, it was you, you creepy old fat man. He proceeds to ask me about my condition and I kind of update him on it and tell him, you know, I'm seeing a physiotherapist and I'm working on it and stuff like that. And he's just making creepy comments about it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just like, ha ha ha, going along with it, you know? Cause again, I didn't want him to think that he was being weird. Conversation dies out, okay? um never speak to him ever again thank god guys men are just disgusting they will really try to manipulate you and act like they're not a certain type of person but end up being exactly what you're afraid of there's always a catch okay there is never a scenario where um you get all these perks and stuff for absolutely no reason for just a conversation there is always a catch okay if you're getting paid like ten thousand dollars for no reason for just hanging out with them trust me you are going to be doing something you are going to be doing something that is worth ten thousand dollars okay and it's best to stay away from that scene because i think it can really take a toll on you as well like i've heard a bunch of people come so i also just want to say i'm not judging anyone who's in i guess that field of work like the whole sugar baby of that type of stuff um, do what you want, make your money. But I have seen a lot of girls come out being like, after years of doing it, how poorly they felt about themselves after. I just think it shouldn't be glorified so much as this easy thing that's not gonna take an effect on your mental toll. Like I felt like garbage after that happened, okay? I felt just horrible. And I was always fooled into thinking that a relationship like that was possible without any strings attached sure maybe it exists somewhere out there so maybe some girl got lucky and she don't got to do anything some people are not built for that lifestyle okay and i just don't want young girls 
making the same mistakes that I did because they've seen so many girls talk about how cool it is and how they don't have to do anything, how it's super chill. It's not the right message. Guys, Jeffrey Epstein, did we not learn from this? And yes, I will admit my parents were right, okay? They told me to stay the fuck away from boys. And I should have listened, okay? I was lost, I was an idiot. I didn't see it at the time, but now I do. Boys that are 500 years older than you. But yeah, this was very traumatizing for me. I honestly wasn't sure if I was gonna talk about it, but again, I, I had already posted about it, so I figured, who's it gonna hurt? All right, guys, lashes are on. That world is a dark, dark place. I went through this so that you don't have to. Please don't make the same mistake that I did. So that was the story time of my failed sugar baby experience. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm loving that you guys love these story times. Um, I'm eventually gonna run out of things to talk about. So there's gonna be some vlogs coming your way. I'm, while this is posted, I'm actually currently in Miami right now, having some fun. So I'll let you know if any funny stories Come about from that trip otherwise i'll be doing a vlog thank you so much for watching and supporting please subscribe put your notifications on comment down below i'm scared of the comments